Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share this video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. Here come the Utah Utes of the Big 12 now, no longer Pac-12. Um, with Cam Rising back, with a lot of those players back. And they still have Kyle Whittingham, who in my opinion is one of the best college football coaches of this generation, probably ever. He's very underrated. See, he, Utah is known, he's known for getting players at Utah that are not exactly the most elite players, but they're really, really good players. And he still coaches them up really good. He trains them really hard, gets them ready to where they can beat teams like Oregon and USC over the years. And even Washington to where they can win that Pac-12 championship against those teams to have superior talent to Utah. But Winningham's a great coach. Um, I think he deserves a raise. Go look up his pay information. You'll be pretty upset with that because I was when I found out. Okay, they, they start off with teams like Southern Utah and Baylor at home. I believe they beat both of those teams pretty easily. Uh, 45 to nothing. And I believe they'll beat Baylor also 36 to 10. Baylor, by the way, is with David Aranda, Coach Aranda from LSU's national championship team. He was their defensive coordinator. I think he's down to his last year. That Baylor schedule is very, very tricky, rough. Then they go to Utah State. That's a rivalry game. I think there's a trophy involved in that game. They should win that pretty easily, 38 to 6. Oklahoma State at Oklahoma State. I believe they get the win there. I think Kyle Whittingham's a better coach than Mike Gundy. However, Mike Gundy is also a very winning coach too. Unfortunately, and I think it's unfair that he's had to deal with Oklahoma who out recruits. And again, Oklahoma State and Utah remind me of each other a lot, given that neither one really recruits elite players, partially because I don't think either program's that rich or puts a lot of money into their football program like Oklahoma, like Oklahoma does, Texas do. And Mike Gundy's been very successful in his career as a football coach, too. So I don't think that's exactly fair because Oklahoma has pretty much owned the Big 12 the last several years, along with Texas, who won it this past year. But this is a game that Utah can lose. And if they did lose, it wouldn't surprise me. But right now, I would go with Oklahoma, excuse me, Utah to win 28-24. Excuse me, I think Utah's defense will be the difference in this game. Um... Then they take on Arizona at home. Then they go to Arizona State. I don't think either of those teams are going to give Utah a run for their money or give them any kind of problems. 38, 13, 45, 20, something like that. Those are the score predictions I have, actually. Um, right now, they're sitting at 6-0, probably a top 10 team, maybe top 5, but it won't last much longer. They come back home to take on TCU. Sonny Dykes is a really good football coach. He's won a lot of games over, over the years. Uh, he did take TCU to a national championship. They didn't win it. But they still made it there over teams like Alabama, Tennessee, Clemson. You know, you get the idea. Um, I don't think TCU is some kind of world beater. I don't think they're an elite program. But I believe they're going to be better than 5-7 and seven or 4-8, and eight, whatever they were last year. And I think TCU is their hiccup game. I think they lose this game. Now, they should win. But again, then they go to Houston. This is a trap game, in my opinion, for Utah. Because if they beat TCU, they could very well lose at Houston. Because Houston can be a tough place to play. Especially if Houston's any good. I have them going to Houston and barely winning 31-24. And I say that because if they lose to TCU, this will really hurt their morale, their confidence. Because TCU has not really been a good football program. Even though Sonny Dykes is a really good coach. Um, I still think they beat Houston over there. And then they come back home to take on BYU. That's a BYU is not a bad team. They're a pretty good program. They win a lot of games. I know last year was their first year in the Big 12, but I'm not really expecting anything major out of BYU. They might make a bowl game. Who knows? I hope they do. I like watching them play. But I think Utah is just too good, and I think they're a better program overall. And because they've been in the uh, in the Power 5 a lot longer than BYU and they're more accustomed to it, I still think they'll beat BYU. Uh, 45, 13, something like that. Listen to these last three games. At Colorado, home against Iowa State, and then at UCF. Uh, I believe they beat Iowa State at home 38-21. I think they're a better team. They're a better coach team, in my opinion. Um, at UCF and then at Colorado. These are two games they can easily lose. I think Colorado is going to be a lot better than what they were last year. They talk about they didn't have an offense. They didn't have one. I believe they will now. If you look at the transfer portal, look at all the players that Deion Sanders has been getting lately. Offense, defensive lineman, each of them 300 pounds or more. Okay? Uh, he went out and got some more players. 
to help them along the lines of scrimmage, most notably the offensive line. So Shador Sanders is going to have a lot of time to throw in that pocket and be able to play a lot better. And really, he was a top 10 passer this past year up until the end of the season. He played really good. He wasn't part of the problem. Travis Hunter is still there. Um, I, I, this game is at Colorado. But again, I don't think Deion Sanders is a bad coach. I think he's a pretty good coach. But I've seen, you, and we've all seen how his team handles success when they're 3-0. and They're number 19 in the country. They go to Oregon. They show no respect. They have an attitude. They run their mouth a lot. And you see what happens to them. Now, it's because Colorado is going to have a better team and they'll be in a better position than what they were last year. I don't think they'll get manhandled by Utah or anybody else. But I trust Kyle Whittingham to outcoach Deion Sanders or mostly anybody else in the country. And I think Utah finds a way to win at Colorado 45-42. to So, and I think they go to UCF and this is a potential trap game. I've labeled this one as a trap game too. Just because UCF, they did go 6-7 and seven this past year, but they did pretty good considering it was their first ever time in the big, in the, in the group of, in the Power 5 conference. That's not too bad, you know. And UCF beat Oklahoma State this past year in a blowout. I think it was a blowout, right? Yeah. So they have a lot of experience playing Power 5 teams, you know. So I think oh, Utah goes to UCF and wins 38-37. to Not exactly the toughest place to play, but it's the end of the year. Oklahoma, I mean, excuse me, Utah's probably a top 10 team at this point. They're going to the Big 12 championship most likely, or they have to win this game. And UCF would love to play spoiler. And Gus Malzahn is not exactly a bad coach. People forget, yeah, he's lost some games. But during his time at Auburn, he beat Alabama multiple times. Nick Saban multiple times. So if anybody knows anything about winning, about success, to any certain level, it's Gus Malzahn. So, yeah. I have Utah going 11-1. and They could definitely be 12-0 and at best. At worst case scenario, they lose at Colorado. They could lose two games at worst. But even then, that's still not bad. A 10-win season is really, really good. You know, and I know people like to make excuses. I'm not making excuses. I mean, look, when you're a, a good football coach like Kyle Winningham, Kyle Cunningham, whatever his name is, I keep getting messed up. I said it right at the, end, at the beginning of the video. But when you're a good coach like him and you still don't get the best players, but you can still coach him up, that still says a lot about him. I mean, look, let's be honest here. The Pac-12 has been way more competitive than the Big 12. The Big 12 lately has been about Oklahoma and Texas. And I think Kansas State won it once against TCU after getting beat by them the first time. So, I mean, that tells you everything you know about the Big 12. So, yeah, I think now it's going to be about Colorado and Utah competing for that Big 12 championship spot and winning it all and making a playoff. And I think Utah will be a playoff team this year. So, yeah, there you have it.